I'm Lucas Burnley, and I designed the Squid for CRKT. The first factory knife I ever bought, an Ed Halligan Stiff Kiss. I was probably 15 years old, and I still have the knife, and I love it, and it's beat up and nasty, and I cracked the sheath, but from that point on, CRKT always stood out in my mind as a brand that basically put out a quality product at like a really affordable price. And one of the nice things is because of the makers that you guys work with, it takes a design that's super high in demand and makes it available to everybody. That's the draw. Like I couldn't get, you know, a Halligan knife but I could get his design in a CRKT knife. So when I had the opportunity to start designing with CRKT, it was huge. I mean, it was like playing for the big leagues. It's a family that I've been a part of for a long time. The Squid has been one of my uh, custom models for about five years now. Uh, the whole concept behind this knife was that of a compact pistol. I wanted to be able to do a really functional tool, a fully featured tactical knife just scaled down. The primary things that I was really trying to keep were a strong blade and a good grip. I wanted it to be easy to carry and more importantly, legal to carry in a lot of jurisdictions. So the overall design is really non-threatening, which is great. So you want to be able to have it with you. The blade's just over two and a quarter inches long. The locking mechanism on the squid is a frame lock, which is great, super robust, super simple. We did a deep carry pocket clip, makes it super easy to carry, rides really low in the pocket. External lanyard mount, I love the way they translated this detail. Hollow ground spear point blade, really strong in the tip, false edge, jimping on the spine. Um, and then the next thing I wanted to handle that you were able to really get a good grip on. Even though the overall knife is about five and a quarter inches, you don't feel like you're, you're working with something delicate. Just your perfect everyday, you know, compact, hard use knife. No question mark. Ah. All right. So can we start? Can I? You're filming now, right? Okay. Ah, okay. Restart that one. Um. Today at CRKT, we are taking a look at the M2104 G. This is a Kit Carson design that is an EDC knife, it's sort of a workhorse, big dog knife. The overall length on it is nine and a quarter inches. The length, the blade length is 3.8 inches. It's got a titanium nitride finish on it, a deep belly spear point. G10 handles are gonna add a lot of strength to the handle and they're also comfortable. Check it out in my hand. It is a large knife, so if you've got big hands, this is gonna be a good one for you. The pocket clip on it is four-way reversible so you can carry it here, here, tip up, or tip down on either side of the knife. Let me show you a shot of it in my pocket to give you an idea of how it rides. To close it, simply pull down on this auto locks tab here. This is a safety feature that we use. So pull down there, push over on the locking liner, and close the knife. Now the reason we do this is it sets a set pin up against that locking liner. So it is not going to close until you pull that red button down, push over, and close the knife. The size comparison compared to my house key there, definitely a large knife. Also, you need to know it comes in VEF serrations. Check that out right there. Those are wicked serrations. They work really, really well for cutting fibrous materials and that sort of thing. Again, this is the M2104G designed by Kit Carson and available from CRKT. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to visit our website and thank you for carrying CRKT. I'm Terry Lee Renner, and I design knives for CRKT. My profession is full-time knife maker. Prior to that, I was in the bicycle business for 25 years. Most of my designs are very curvy. I used to do custom paint, so I knew what it looked like to do good flowing lines to make it eye-pleasing. 
The angular look to the deviation is a departure for me. And it was just an attempt to do something beyond what I'd done before. And I wanted to see how flowing I could make angular lines. And whether it's angular or not, all of the stuff that I do has to fit the hand. If it doesn't, it doesn't go out. I used the liner lock instead of a frame lock. It leaves my handle clean, and it doesn't have a tendency to bow out like some of the frame lock designs do. So it's a very solid lockup. It doesn't look useful, but it is. The clip was designed specifically to be unobtrusive, both in the hand and in the pocket. It's deep so that it does ride down past the lip of the pocket and doesn't show when you're carrying. I like the polish and satin contrast, so I decided to do the two-tone. CRKT has managed to do that in stainless because it gives it heft. I'm Terry Lee Renner, and I designed the deviation folder for CRKT. It's really cool. Like, I was in Germany, you know, walking by little shops on the street, and what do I see? My knives in a window. I mean, how cool is that, right? I mean, from bonehead redneck growing up on a farm to go into Europe and seeing your product in the shelf, you know, just walking by some random shop, that's pretty cool.